Did I not say guys that the moment my mom arrives, everything will be stopped? Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. What's up my boy squad? How are you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. Guys, look. Look at that fridge. I knew this would happen. Fully stocked fridge. <laughs> We just had a major grocery shopping overhaul. Um, so in case you didn't see last vlog, my dad and my mom are here from Canada. They've been spending the past couple of days here now in the Philippines at the Mabuhay Squad Farmhouse. Please excuse my dogs. No, his name is not Suffer, Cypher. <laughs> yes. <laughs> see, hala, your Lolo is saying, don't bark. So, um, yeah, they've been spending the past couple of days here um, at the Mabuhay Squad farmhouse. And did I not say, guys, that the moment my mom arrives, everything will be stocked? And so we just came back from shopping at SNR, which is the Philippine version of Costco. And we bought everything, guys. Everything they need. See, like everything you can think of bubbly water, fruits at the palenque. See, look at all that saba. My mom has been drinking this beverage like since the moment I was born. Guys, I was nourished in the womb with Coca-Cola. And guys, the past couple of days with my parents here have been hilarious. And you won't believe it, but I was vlogging. I had been vlogging the past couple of days and accidentally erased it. So I lost like a whole hour long vlog <laughs> for you guys. My apologies. But just know that it's there's never been a dull moment with these two here. <laughs> my mom has been making the space her own. Um, and she's been cooking some really delicious meals, guys. Oh, with a legit kitchen like this, finally, home-cooked meals. My mom's talent really is cooking. Honestly, I'm not just saying that because she's my mom. My whole family knows she is the best cook of the family. My dad's a good cook too. But look, so we've got like chicken, beef, salmon head, which is probably going to be turned into sinigang. Salmon, see? Good boy, size. Good boy, Cypher. We got them rawhide alternatives. It's like a healthy chew toy for the dogs. Go ahead, go eat it. He doesn't know what to do with it. But Sahara loves hers. Anyway, in case you guys are wondering what they're chewing, there goes Cypher with his rawhide. It's not rawhide, because rawhide can get stuck in their intestines. It's something else. It's made of chicken, but it's good for their teeth, gut health, healthy skin strengthens joints and muscles. And we get it because um, one of our dogs, Brittany, is a chewer. So we wanted to try this. So mommy, how has the bedroom been? Did you sleep well? Yeah. Good? Very comfortable, very nice. Yay. Are you jet lagged? No. I don't know how this happens. Like you every time. Nice. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And, nice, nice and then also fun. daddy's not jet lagged either. She's always looking. <laughs> <laughs> She's also snoring. And guys, last night we had massages, hot stone massages. They came here, massaged my mom, massaged me. It was so good. Are we gonna get massage? Are you getting a massage again tonight? They come here and they do it. Oh, love getting massages. Again, this was all in the vlog that I deleted accidentally. Ew, guys. Look at what my mom just busted out. What is that? The pool maker gave it to us. Really? Because Guys, I'm like, is this a rotten piece of water? Like, is this a rotten a bottle of water? It's, it's supposed vinegar. to be vinegar. But it's vinegar. It's a different kind of vinegar. But it's in a water bottle. Okay, and then? It's homemade vinegar. Homemade vinegar? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. They do that? I don't know what kind of vinegar. Maybe coconut vinegar at all? Or homemade? All right. Ate Elsie's get hello. Ate Elsie's getting her feet done, pedicure. Both my parents had theirs done, and now it's Ate Elsie's turn. <laughs> What's up, Mabu High Squad? How are you doing? Did you sleep well? Good morning, guys. Look at. Oh my! My mom cooked steamed milk fish bangos. And what is this? Lang lang. Bulang lang. Bulang lang, which is like string beans and like. Squash flowers. Squash flower. Wow, mommy. No, this one. Uh, the, the, uh, wow. Like the ah, okay, awesome. Oh, look at that. Steamed bangos with like stuffing. Sahara, you're so spoiled. Always being carried. Guys, she begs for my mom to pick her up. So, guys, how's your new year been? Hmm? So far? 
Wow, 2023, awesome so far for me. Guys, doesn't this look so healthy? Apparently, this wasn't cooked by my mom. It was cooked by our new helper there, who's working, so I won't disturb her. She's being trained currently. She's our new family member, yay. Her name is Melody. Guys, home-cooked meals. Good morning, Daddy. Morning. Morning. Do you have a joke of the day? Oh, joke of the day. <laughs> yeah. What's the joke of the day? What's the train favorite video game? What's the train's favorite video game? Yeah. What? PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's funny. Bye guys. Bye at LC. So guys, today's a big day. We are traveling to Manila. Can you imagine the whole time my parents have been here, out on the farm, here in uh, Cavite, just lounging around the farmhouse. But finally we're going to the city uh, because my mom has to drop by our condo. My mom and I have a condo in Manila and um, we're gonna go to the mall. Um, and also, I have to record. I gotta do a sound recording um, for, well, the secret project, which I revealed was a Hollywood project. If you haven't seen that vlog, go check it out. Yeah, I'm part of a Hollywood production, Andre. <gasps> Anyways, I gotta record like something for that. Um, so today's gonna be a back day. Sadly, the dogs can't come, sorry. We're gonna miss you. Guys, the uh, owner of the pool company, the guy who's working on our pool is here. Hi, good morning. I wanna show you our pool. Check it out, guys. Our pool is, uh, I don't know how many square meters, but here there'll be a pool bar, so a swim up bar, where you know a bartender can make our drinks, uh, and there'll be seating inside the water. This side is the shallow end for kids we wanted our pool to be very kid friendly because we have a lot of friends who have kids and family who have kids yeah. my mom's like is the swimming pool high yeah it's high you have to you'll there will be steps here and then you go in and then that's the deep end right there and it's an infinity pool so you can go all the way to the edge and kind of like relax and gaze at the forest and the Baha'i Kubo so cool guys look at how attached my mom is to the grandchildren <laughs> Those are her grandkids. She's like explaining to them that we're coming back. <laughs> All right, guys, here at the mall. Okay. Enjoy your shopping. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Bye. Oh my gosh, they're matching. Guys, I really miss visiting the city. This isn't even like the busiest part, but just coming back to the city is so awesome. Living out of the city now for how many years? Has it been over a year? Almost two years. It's really made visiting Manila kind of like a day trip it feels like a vacation like it's it's so fun we make sure to eat at a restaurant we sometimes go shopping you know it's kind of a, a fun day trip all right guys we're here whoa at the recording booth yay recording studio love i've never been here to this one all right guys time to get to work what a studio awesome oh look at that God. guys gosh Gorgeous setup. And I love how the engineer is in the booth. <laughs> That's different. There's even a couch here. How awesome. All right, my boo high squad. We'll get to work now. So I will see you after the session. All right, guys, done. That was fun. All right, now to go meet my parents. How was your day at the mall and the condo? I got a headache. Headache? God. And guys, look at all of this stuff. They packed the vent. Guys, it's literally stuff like coffee maker because my coffee maker broke um, a huge like folding bed for guests wow oh man so guys it's dark outside we finally managed to get out of manila there was so much traffic guys <gasps> it's crazy it's just why i'm so happy we um now live outside the city and um we have this van because it's a little more comfortable when traveling. Like my parents are more comfortable when they travel. And I just look, love looking at the stars. Love looking at RJ. <laughs> the stars are really cool. They twinkle and they twinkle into, in different colors. 
Like, right now it's, what, red? Then it goes purple. Oh no, now it's red. Green. And then blue. See? It's really, really nice. We got this fan, I think, four years ago. And it was customized by Atoy Lave from Atoy Customs. He's a very famous um, vehicle customizer. And um, pretty much, pretty much all the celebrities go to him to customize their cars. And he did an awesome job at customizing this car for us. This Mabuhay bus, we call it. Um, it's an H350. It's classified as a van bus. And yeah, he's, Atoy did a great job. Like we wanted it to be like Filipino color themed. So during the day, if you see like this, the leather interior is red, blue, white, and yellow. Um, and it's got overhead compartments. It's got like outlets so we could plug our mobiles and stuff. There's a work desk there so I could do work. A screen. Um, overhead lights. Basically like an airplane, guys. There's a bar right here. Um, and then there's a bathroom way back there. Um, and when you're stuck in traffic in Manila, guys, trust me. When you have to go to the bathroom, it really helps. Um, and then RJ and I also invested in this vehicle because we do a lot of shoots and tapings and it really helps to have a place to change when moving to your next event, get ready, right? Like when RJ and I have to get ready, sometimes we'll just bring all the stuff we need, outfits and wardrobes and stuff, and we'll just get ready here on the way to the event. So it really helps. And sometimes the, the production tents that are available for um, the talents aren't the most comfortable uh, places so this is another reason we invested in kind of like a mobile a miniature mobile home essentially look at my mom in a blanket she's sleeping i think they're jet lagging still both my parents are fast asleep another cool thing about this van is you can stand up and even if you're a six footer your head won't touch the ceiling it's a really high ceiling and it's just generally comfortable for all around traveling around the Philippines. Wakey, wakey, we're home. Yes. Ugh. Home sweet home. Daddy, you were snoring. <laughs> Where? The dog's waiting for us? There they are. Oh, they know when, when, they know when we're dogs. coming. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Sives and Sahara. They've been waiting all day for us. Look at those tails wagging. Hey doggies, did you miss us? Did you miss us? We missed you. Guys, look how cute this is. The birds are sleeping. And look, all three of them are up here, including Clara, who never used to be able to fly. Oh, hi Clara, sorry to disturb you. But now that she can sort of fly, she's up here, joining the rest of her flock. All right, good night girls and boys. <laughs> wow, mommy, what did you buy? Cleaning products. Mops? Mops. Wow. See, and this one. That's good. Stuff for cleaning. Is this yours? Oh, toolbox. Tool, toolbox. Where did Drill. you get that? The one in, the, in the condo. Oh, I guess, yeah, we could, yeah. We yeah. could use that stuff. Yeah, Disposable plates, more and cleaning products. Mama, so, my mom is totally taking charge of like cleaning, and she's. Now that Melody has joined us, um, our family. My mom is training in terms of how to keep things clean. Um, my mom's just totally taking charge and that really helps a lot. <laughs> Cause RJ right now is really, really busy with still coordinating with the workers who are finishing up work on the outside. So now my mom's helping with training for our team for the inside. We actually are also expecting another two uh, helpers to join our team here at the Mabuhay Squad Farmhouse. So yeah, this is uh, it's getting serious, guys. A full house. Gosh, this is one big folding bed. That's awesome. Just roll this out, and that's a nice portable like bed. Hey right, guys. So in case you haven't been following the channel, um, this Mobile High Squad farmhouse took four years to build. My partner RJ and I have been working on it. It's been our passion project and it's currently our magnum opus. But finally reaching the end now, um, we built it for RJ and I to live in. 
um, also to work in. I have an ant room upstairs where I film all the content for the Ants Canada channel, one of my other YouTube channels. Uh, we also built it to host our loved ones, friends, family, um, just anyone who might want to get away from the city perhaps and just want to relax out in the farm, fresh air, animals, all of that. So we built this place really to host. Um, and so my parents are here for the first time. Um, I have 20 to 30 family members flying from Canada, guys. They are flying in, um, I believe, starting the end of February and in March. And that also includes my brother and his wife who will be getting married like an official wedding here in the Philippines. So like, guys, by March, this house will be so full, which is a dream because, I mean, from the moment we got this place, I could already envision in my mind, guys, this is going to be a place where our friends and family can chill and make memories, right? Because, I mean, this could be just for RJ and I, but what fun is that if you can't share it with those who matter, right? Yeah, we really went the extra mile above and beyond to make sure this place was um, in shape and comfortable and relaxing for our guests. Did you miss us? Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey Sives, were you a good boy? I hope so. Guys, while we were out, we got a package from Meta. Interesting. Thank you, Meta. Mm. Oh, wow. Mmm, what is this? Biscuits? Mmm. <gasps> oh. Parmesan sticks by Chef Roslyn. Yum. Thank you. Yogi brunch. Oh, two mushrooms. Oyster mushrooms and shiitake mushrooms. Yum. Mmm, we can put that in cooking. This. Chana hummus. Yum. Oh. So good. Lemon garlic dinapa. Wow. So good. And healthy guys, high in calcium. This is basically like Filipino sardines. Yum. And what is this? Pilly butter bars? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah. Oh my. Pilly butter chocolate bars, guys. Here, mommy, you want some? This is from Meta, from like FB and IG. Try it. Don't let the dogs eat that. That's not good for dogs. What is this? Fruit tea? Mmm. Oh, the guys, this is a fruit tea concentrate. You just add a little bit to water. Interesting. Guys, it's totally raining in the aviary. The birds are getting a very valuable shower right now. There are places where they can seek shade, but I find the blue napes love to just stand in the, in the rain. It's good for their feathers too. The conures, however, are right there under the shade. They prefer to bathe during the day in their water bowls and not so much bathe in the rain. Sometimes I'll catch them in the rain. Depends, but I think they just want to sleep dry right now. Good night, birds. See you tomorrow. Good morning, Mabuhai squad. It's 5 a.m. and my parents are awake. You guys are up early. My dad brought this. They're Soles for my shoes, he says. Yeah, see? Health. Health in soles. It's for my shoes where I don't wear socks. He says it absorbs the odor. <laughs> These here are my best walking shoes. Guys, my favorite shoes for like walking and running are Hoka and New Balance. Oh, you have to cut it to size. Yeah, about size. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright guys, my dad wants me to try it to see the difference. Oh! Oh! That is that is more comfortable. Oh, it will help you too. That's why it will not be smelly. It won't be smelly. Well, my, yeah, my feet don't really smell. Ooh! Love! Ooh guys, I f it feels cushiony. It does feel slightly more comfortable. And like the shoe hugs my foot a little more. Ooh, a, well, pink and blue. Guys, they bought like tank tops. You bought this yesterday at the mall? Yep. <laughs> guys, my mom says, my dad is a shopaholic. <laughs> guys, so the last vlog is doing really well. I'll tell you about that later. 
But my mom is showing me her Filipino group at where? Mount Sinai Hospital, where my mom works. And they, they've all watched the vlog. Yeah. So what are they saying, mommy? Grabe daw ang mansion. With Tita Chris High Tech. Nakakalula. Bale si What does that mean? Anyways, they're, they're leaving positive comments, all her co-workers and stuff. That's cool. So yeah, guys, the last vlog is currently the, the highest viewed vlog on our channel. Not the highest viewed vlog on our channel, but the most successful and fastest rising vlog on our channel. And it'll probably be the highest vlog viewed vlog on the channel so far. So thank you guys so much for watching and sharing it and all of that. That really means a lot to us. Never thought he would do that well. People are also agreeing with my mom's suggestions for steps. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now we know. I didn't know seniors need like long steps. They need basically yeah, like steps. longer steps. It's railings. Not only steps. Yeah, we'll, we'll add railings of course. Wait, there's one more thing I need to address. I've been seeing a comment and this actually pops up um, in our vlogs comments a lot. Why are you not speaking Tagalog, Filipino, um, and you're living in the Philippines? So, first of all, to that I say, English is my mother tongue. I was born and raised in Toronto, Canada. They migrated... Mommy, when did you guys migrate? When did you migrate to Canada? 1972. And growing up, my parents never spoke to me and my brother in Tagalog. Why, Mommy? Why didn't you speak to us in Tagalog growing up? I don't know. I have to... See, my mom doesn't have an answer, so... Because everybody is speaking English, so you have to follow the whatever. Yeah, but your mother tongue is Tagalog. But we have been talking Tagalog in, at home. I know, okay, so my parents speak Filipino to each other. So I know what Filipino sounds like, but me and my brother never could understand it. And this goes also for all my cousins. Um, it's just kind of like a very first-gen... Filipino Canadian thing. I'm not sure how it is in the US. So I never grew up speaking Filipino guys I can speak it now because I'm here in the Philippines and after 11 12 years of living here Yes, I can I, I understand it now. I can speak it probably around 60% Enough to get by and converse. I now speak it better than I speak French and I speak French pretty well But yeah, I never learned it guys and you know what if I'm speaking Tagalog and I'm doing these vlogs in Tagalog one, it would take me a long time to express myself. And two, what about all of my viewers who are not Filipino speakers, like those from abroad? Guys, for those of you who aren't from the Philippines, can you leave a comment um, and say where you're from? Because sometimes my Filipino audience thinks that I'm speaking English just because I want to speak English. Uh, but no, it's not. It's so I'm inclusive for those, for my audience who aren't from the Philippines and I know a lot of you guys are not Filipino you're not from the Philippines you speak English and I just it's just a lot more convenient for me to speak English in my vlogs for those reasons so that's it it's not you know to show off that I'm an English speaker because here in the Philippines apparently being fluent in English is like it, it suggests that you're educated and you're intelligent um, which isn't the case at all um, because honestly when I'm around Filipino speakers and everyone's speaking Filipino to each other, there are times I do feel dumb. I'm like, I'm so dumb. How come I can't understand everybody? Um, I know I'm not dumb. It's just I can't speak fluently. You know what I mean? So if you are abroad, if you're a Filipino that has migrated abroad and you are raising kids, be sure to teach them Tagalog or whatever language you're from. If you're a, mi a migrant from, I don't know, India, teach your kids Urdu or Hindi. Because like, honestly, it, in later in life, it will help them. Man, I cannot even describe how much easier it would have been for me had I spoke the language when I moved here. Oh, having to act in Tagalog was so hard. Those were some of the hardest, most stressful, high anxiety like moments for me working in Filipino showbiz here because having to memorize scripts that I received literally that morning and having to act in a language I had never spoken before. It was just so hard and stressful and like the director used to yell at me for speaking English on set. It was just really scary. But yeah, so guys, if you are some a parent who speaks another language, teach that language to your kid. Do them a favor. Pero ngayon, 
I know how. <laughs> and so the parents can't make cheese meals. Honestly, when we're at family parties now in Canada, I know exactly what all the parents are talking about. I know when you guys are making gossip. Yeah, and also when my mom is yelling at me or reprimanding me now, because I understand the Tagalog, and because it's her mother tongue, she can better express herself in Filipino. So when she's yelling at me, I really understand it and I feel it now. That's a big difference. Before when she used to yell at me in English, it was like, ah, whatever. But now that I understand the sentiment of the words in Tagalog, and she like scolds me in Tagalog, I feel it, like I feel it more. Do you guys know what I mean? So guys, I cannot do my morning walk this morning because it is raining and it's been raining through all of last night. And I don't have a poncho, like I don't have a raincoat. Boo. I wonder when we should remove this Christmas tree, like pack it up and take it away. Maybe February? Yay guys, the rain stopped. Woohoo! All right, going for my morning walk. Oh, guys, the day's just not complete if I don't walk. Okay, it's kinda spitting, but that's okay, I'll take it. See you in a bit, Mabuhay Squad Farmhouse. Yes. <laughs> Guys, I spoke too soon. It's raining a lot now. Okay, honestly, I we don't have an umbrella even. Guys, still need to do more shopping. So for those of you who are new, RJ and I just literally moved in here. When was that? I think it was six. Wow, has it been six months already? Gosh, guys, can you believe we've been living here for six months? But when we first moved here, like, trust me guys, it was so not done. It was an unfinished house. We kind of had to like move in and like really push these workers to finish. Um, RJ completely took over the operations just to make sure, you know, the workers were doing what they needed to do um, and make sure RJ was overseeing the work because what tends to happen is if there's no one like supervising, a lot of mistakes will be done and then we have to do things over and that's a lot of time wasted and money wasted too. So um, yeah, man, I was going through some old photos of what the house used to look like as far back as this time last year. Man, what a change. I am so grateful. Uh, oh well, in the weather, it needs to rain. Our plants need to need to drink water, so drink, drink, drink plants. Mm -hmm. I can just skip my walk for today. Good morning, birdies. Guys, they're all up there getting rain, including the little ones. Hi guys, good morning. Did you sleep well? Awesome. So in terms of the trees, um, they have broken a couple branches from the palm trees but it does look like are they leaving them alone yeah kind of which is good they've begun to totally butcher this new tree sadly this will be gone that fern way up there half gone <laughs> um yeah so but everything else i think is okay yes awesome bath even the conures are enjoying this morning bath. They're grooming while, uh, while they're bathing. Okay, for real this time, the rain stopped. Okay, so I will walk. Yay. Gotta get it in. Gotta get it in. Guys, I'm back and look, the cow is having a feast on some grass. I guess the cow's owner came along and dumped all of this grass, this freshly cut grass. See all that? That's awesome. Enjoy! Mmm, guys, this smells delicious. My mom's making tinola. It's like a, it's a Filipino chicken soup. Yum. And she's adding... You're adding ampalaya in it? Ampalaya. Malunga. Bitter gourd. Or bitter melon and malungai. See, that's healthy. That's moringa. Pepper. Moringa. Pepper leaves. Oh, sweet. All right, home cooking. Guys, my dad is eating my overnight oats. How is it? Healthy? <laughs> Good, perfect. Oh, you add banana in it. Yeah, nice. I have to. I like banana every day. 
So look guys, speaking of Moringa, Malungai, as they call it in Filipino, we put a big branch of Malunga here so that the birds could stop destroying the plants <laughs> and um, chew on some healthy um, leaves and branches here. Let's see, let's see. So far they're ignoring it. It's freaking them out. And now Gabriella is coming down to inspect. She sees me touching the leaves. So she's like, okay, it's safe. Oh, here come the other birds. You wanna try it? Yummy, mmm, yum. Her beak is dirty. They've been like uprooting that fern up there. I promise the malungai is just as good as ferns. Come. Good bird. Guys, Gabriella's recall is so good. You got rained on last night, huh? Your feathers look awesome. Your beak is dirty. <laughs> you destroying all the plants? Gonna have to replace it soon. Here, step up. Step up. There we go. See, you just kind of have to show them that it's nothing to be afraid of. Oh, that's so healthy, guys. They consider moringa, aka malungai, a, um, a superfood because of all the vitamins and nutrients in it. Uh, see, mm, even the stems. See, the stems are fun to destroy. So parrots, um, also known as hookbills, they're called, um, they need to constantly destroy things with their beak because their beak continues to grow. And like, that's why they destroy plants. And generally people keep these birds in enclosures that don't have any plants just because they need to constantly destroy things, which is why they have bird toys. It's kind of like a scratch pole for cats, but for birds, you buy them toys so they could destroy things. Here in this aviary, they can destroy the wood perches. They can destroy, oops, <laughs> they could destroy the plants. This is Marcelo. Go Marcelo. Mmm. And Gabriela's eating more malungai here. See? See guys? Isn't that better than fern? Ooh, guys, my mom says that they, what did you do? Put the vinegar, baking soda, and water. Oh, guys, my mom cleaned this wall. It's shiny now, yes, actually. It shows the design. Yeah, I really love the color. It really does pop, actually, mommy. Thank you. Finally, a little bit of sunshine coming in for the birds, yes. So guys, in case you're wondering, these swirls, if you're new, um, that's not there permanently. I drew those with bar, bars of soap, and these are um, anti-collision bird UV decals. It just reflects UV light so that the birds know that this is glass. Because birds don't automatically know the concept of glass, but these birds have already seen these designs on the glass for several months now. They've never flown into the glass. Um, so I think they understand that there's glass here and they understand the concept that nothing can go through it, not including them, <laughs> not even the dogs, nothing like that. Um, so I might start to slowly remove the designs. Um, RJ says he kind of likes the design. What do you guys think? Should I start to like wet the, sur the swirls and slowly remove them? Um, or should I keep them on there? Personally, I, I like it clear, but you know, I just want to be on the safe side. Because guys, birds can fly into glass and die um, if they don't know it's there. See guys, there's Clara right there. 
And I mean, Clara is a is the most phobic of all of my birds, but she knows she's safe. She understands that there's glass there, even if my two dogs are like right there at the glass. <sighs> she's scaling the wall right now. Yay, guys, we have equipment. Woohoo! See, we got our sound bar right here. We got subwoofer. We've got the huge speaker you saw this last time for the home theater screen, which will come down from there. And guys, look, we've got recording equipment finally. Yes! See? So awesome. I can't wait. Oh my gosh, guys, the tinola's done. Time to eat. <gasps> look at that. Mm. Guys, I'm going to review my mom's cooking. Mm, look at that. You're so you're such a self-critic. I inherited that trait from her. <laughs> All right, let's try. Dinola, guys. Mmm, it smells so good. There's ginger in here. It's cooked with um, this, which is sayote, which is chayote in English, I think. Mmm, look at that. Mmm. 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 This is soul food, guys. This is the food I grew up on. Five Mabuhay stars. <laughs> Guys, my mom says, do you notice something about the glass? Why is it so clean? Dining table? Dining table? Oh, wow. Actually, yeah, the glass is so clear. That's the clearest it's ever been. How come? What did you use to clean it? The white pipe index for the glass. Wow, guys. Look at the glass. That's the cleanest it's ever been. Okay, guys, so now we are installing the wallpaper. Um, on uh, both sides of the panels that aren't mirror. Uh, they had to remove what we had installed last time because it wasn't done properly. But now they are going to install the wallpaper that we chose. Ooh, I can't wait, can't wait to see it. So if you're new to this wall installment, um, this here is, they're basically rotating panels, one of which is mirror and the other two are wallpaper, just so we could vary up the look of the dining room. Um, because RJ is very much so into tablescaping. That was his quarantine hobby back when we were living in the condo and stuck in the condo for eight months. Um, he loved doing tablescapes and so we decided, hey, this is a cool thing to try and I love it. I love the mirror side, but I can't wait to see, you know, the final look of the two wallpapers we chose. Mommy, do you like this? Yeah. This was hand carved it's too dusty. by people from Laguna, from woodworkers. You have to tell me woodworkers. Filipino woodworkers. Isn't that great? It was dusty. It was dusty? Yeah, it was. I, and now we're going to one of the guest rooms. It's the green room to install this wallpaper. We're doing another wallpaper here. It's This is the green room, even though it's not very green yet. Um, this wallpaper here is a bunch of beautiful tropical leaves. Our concept for this room was tropical lux um, and green. Ooh, awesome. See guys, that's what it looks like. Oh, that's gonna look awesome. Ganda. All right. See? Tropical leaves. Oh, that's gonna look so cool. That's going right there. Now, we call it the green room because at this corner window, you're literally right in the trees. Like, when this is sunny here, guys, it's gorgeous. And animals come here. I've seen um, lizards, flying lizards, different birds, right here at the treetops. Um, so that's why we decided to make this room here, the green room. And even the headboard of this bed is a real tree trunk, see? Real wood frame. I think this room will be really nice. We'll add some plants too. All right guys, so this is the other design going up on here. Awesome, it looks so elegant. Now for those of you who are following the vlog saying, hey, I thought that was on there. Yeah, they had to remove it because it was incorrectly installed. Daddy, what are you looking at? <laughs> Who's this guy? Yeah. You think I'm famous? He looks <laughs> like, so funny. He looks like Pee Wee Herman. Yes, yes. Guys, that's me. Daddy, how you do you like the bean bag? Oh, just like the old days. The old days? Yeah, like what do you... The 70s. The 70s? Yeah, we used to have a big one. Yeah, 
<laughs> you know, that is the first, com apparently, the company to have invented the beanbag. This was imported from Italy. Oh yeah, this is more comfortable than that. I agree. This is a small beanbag. If you get a big one, it's better. Yeah, I can take out that. Yeah, go sleep. I can't wait to have an actual legit couch here, so we could like lounge around. We're planning on putting like a cool L-shaped couch somewhere here, or U-shaped couch. <sighs> We're gonna test the sound system now. So that's all we need, just that bar and the sub woofer? Wow. Guys, RJ and I have not had a television for as long as we've been dating, which is over 10 years. Can you believe RJ and I have never had a Netflix account or anything like that? During the pandemic, we kind of watched one show on HBO Go, but generally the only time we get to watch television or movies is in the airplane <laughs> when we're flying. Interesting. Well, we have to sign up for Netflix and all of that. And we also need to sign up for Amazon Prime for a reason I can't share right now. Mm, we might need it soon. So there's a mouse on the controller. Oh, wow. Daddy, are you moving the controller or... No, you just disappointed. Guys, there's a mouse. Oh, wow. My dad tried plugging in the vlog channel. You can type in PBA if you want. You can watch basketball. There you go, daddy. All right. Guys, my dad is an athlete. He's a basketball star. In Toronto, like, growing up, I pretty much grew up in basketball courts, in gyms, because he was part of a Filipino league. What was the Filipino league? Phil Ken? Phil Ken, Phil Act. Phil Act, all of those. It's like a Filipino basketball league. And... He has all of these trophies, it's crazy. So basketball is his thing. All right, that's pretty cool. I'm loving the television here. Oh my gosh, guys, look at that. Ganda! Oh my gosh, guys, look at that. And with the bed, imagine with the bed on that. <gasps> guys, this is my new favorite room. Oh wow, that looks Awesome. Oh my gosh, guys, I can't stop looking at it. It looks just amazing and perfect with this bed. They're just gonna move the bed back. But wow. <gasps> what do you guys think? Doesn't it look cool? Oh, that will set the tone for the furniture that we put in here now. And it goes so well with the like wood floor. Guys, this floor, by the way, really needs a deep cleaning. It's still kind of dusty. <laughs> because of all the work that's been done here. Like, it's gotten in the little cracks in the wood. So we really need to scrub that. Guys, my mom wants to see the green room. It looks so cool, mommy. See, what do you wow, think? Oh, nice. Cool, right? And then once this bed is against the wall, oh man, I love it. This is exactly what how I envisioned it. Yeah. Where it's gonna be like jungle, tropical um, feels. Oh my, my mom's making steak and mushroom sauce. Mmm, this reminds me of the steak and mushroom sauce you make at home. Oh, look at that T-bone steak, guys. <gasps> it's gonna be so good. Guys, my dad is still watching basketball. He could watch it for hours. All right, and they're finally working on my recording booth. Awesome. Oh, wow. This is gonna be awesome. Look, I even have a MIDI keyboard. Got the mic here. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna, st I can't wait to start recording Ant Canada voiceovers with this clean mic. No more recording in closets and vans, in my van for our, my voiceover. I can finally have a legit studio. <gasps> this is awesome. Holy guys. They erected the structure for the bar of the pool. See that? Oh my gosh. Once that bar is there, guys, this is gonna be awesome. It's quite tall. Is it really gonna be that tall? <gasps> wow, that is crazy. Oh man, this pool is gonna be epic. And then I believe they are also working on this structure on this side. This is where um, all the tanning beds will go. <laughs> See, 
along here. So all the poolside beds will be there and my cousins, usually traveling from abroad, will want to tan right by the pool. So that's where that will go. Oh, that is going to be so neat, guys. That looks awesome. My mom is looking through the window. <laughs> the creepy Karen. Just kidding. <laughs> I wish it were more sunny so we could all go out. On the first day here, guys, my mom totally walked around the garden and I vlogged it. But again, I deleted it. Oh, I can't believe I did that. Okay, RJ wanted me to see the Baha'i Kubo. Oh my, they cleared out a lot here. Wow, look, they like dug a huge chunk into the soil there. But look at the Baha'i Kubo. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Oh, it looks like Tita Sonia's garden, guys. This looks like Sonia's garden. So this will be all a wall. And I love the traditional, look at that. It's so Filipino, guys. It makes me wanna get like a guitar and do like a harana to the window. So there will be steps that go here and into the Baha'i Kubo. This will be, obviously, there will be like a board here covering. See, it's, it's actually not wood. Well, this part is wood with the cuppies, right? See, the shells, very Filipino. And then here it's like, what is that, plastic? Something like that. And then here, it's this is all cement and this will all be covered too. Oh, wow, that is so cool. So, so cool. And then guys, inside, I'm gonna try to be careful here. Inside, we're going to, oh, wow. It looks so cute. Guys, look, it's panels. Oh, it looks so cute. Um, but inside, we're gonna extend this outward. There's gonna be another platform that goes out. Like there'll be a sliding door, I guess. And then we can walk out and then have a beautiful view of the forest at the back. That forest looks awesome. We'll basically have an observatory for this forest. Oh, it looks so cool. Guys, it's about time we've rehabbed this Baha'i Kubo. I can't wait to see it finally done. They've been working hard on this, guys. And then under the Baha'i Kubo is our pond. We have to definitely make it beautiful. This shelf here will be kind of a shelf to hold stones and like beautiful semi-aquatic plants growing at the bank of the pond. And then this pond will be full. We could put koi in here. We could put um, anything really, a bunch of fish, and then use the water to water our plants like aquaponics, right? And it'll just be really cute over the Baha'i Kubo. I think that'll be great. We'll throw in a turtle in here too, so it can live. And the turtle won't be able to climb out, see? It, there's a wall that surrounds this entire pond. Um, now it will need, oh, and it's already attracting dragonflies, which is great. We need um, creatures to eat the mosquitoes. Uh, we will have a natural waterfall also happening. And that's, that's all for future guys, but I can't wait. And gosh, that forest though, it, is magnificent oh man guys in real life this forest looks so magical oh what a view from the Baha'i Kubo and from the infinity pool here that's gonna be a nice nice view I love how cute this little corner is here it's so cute these blocks these like monolith blocks they're cute Ate Jun did a great job at like cutifying this otherwise bland and machine-like cold corner. I'm truly in love with the landscaping. It's just all really, really cute. I love the stepping stones. It's just fun to even walk around the property. All right, guys, so this has been such a long vlog now. I am so sorry. Um, Yeah, so tomorrow, my dad is coming with me to the gym. I've been going to the gym pretty frequently. I just haven't vlogged it, but I'm excited to take him to the gym. Uh, my mom is going to be cooking dinner again today. Yay. My mom's probably also going to get a massage again um, before bed. But um, yeah, I really can see that my parents are settling in to uh, life here at the Mabuhai Squad Farmhouse. And even though the title of this vlog is my parents enjoying our new home, I'm actually enjoying them being around. <laughs> Um, you know, because my mom is being a huge help here, helping with training our new staff member, 
um, cleaning up, cooking, mm, home cooked meals, right? Um, and my dad is just funny, he's cool. But yeah, I can't wait for the rest of my family to come in February and in March. Like I've said before, having them here uh, is a dream come true. So far we've been getting along okay. <laughs> I mean, um, you know, I don't like to share any family drama or family problems um, online. That's like our stuff to deal with, right? Um, I don't think any family is perfect. You know, my family has certainly had history, a rough history. I mean, uh, think about it, four individuals living together, trying to figure things out. It's not always easy. So yeah, you know, it's, it's part of life, but it's these good memories that you kind of have to like hold on to, right? That is what matters. And so yeah, having them here is a dream come true. And you know, I, I know they're happy for RJ and I and for this house being completed and all of that. And that means a lot to me. I like to see them enjoying. But yeah, surprisingly, we've been getting along um, pretty good. There haven't been any major arguments or anything like that, um, which is good. Maybe it shows that my family is evolving. And you know, like we've been separated physically now for, gosh, I don't know how many years since the pandemic. Um, and we don't live in the same country anymore. Sometimes I forget that. Sometimes I think to myself, oh my gosh, I can't believe my family is on the other side of the planet. They're in Toronto and I'm here in the Philippines. Um, just because, you know, technology nowadays, I could just send them a quick WhatsApp message or whatever. Like I, I was reminded with them spending time here that, wow, they're here physically. This is kind, this is a big deal. This is a gift. So I'm trying to cherish every moment some of you might be asking, are they moving to the Philippines to live here? And the answer is no. Uh, both of them prefer life um, in Canada, especially my mom. Like all her friends are there and her doctors are there, right? Her meds and stuff. So that's fine too. I think what they'll do is they'll continue to be snowbirds. They will escape the winter and come here um, once a year, which is great. And guys, thank you so much once again for joining us on this random vlog that kind of had no point. <laughs> it was just a mishmash of everything. So if you guys made it this far, thank you so, so much for joining us again for another vlog. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and hit that subscribe button. Come join our Mabuhai squad. We will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. Yes. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye. Mm -hmm.